Can I ask you a question? Does everything and everybody feel the same? Like uniqueness is being squeezed out of everything. The answer for me is yes. I spend around 90% of my free time on YouTube and it just feels the same. Pick one of 8 to 10 genres and follow what everyone else is doing and hopefully you can make a living off it. Outside of YouTube, all the social media sites are just the same slop with different color painting to differentiate themselves. The diversity and uniqueness of people feels all but gone. I can go on about the monofication of society, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. The point is originality is a dying breed. And that's the focus of the story for this episode, Stop Copying and Be Original. In Stop Copying and Be Original, high school students Antonio and Jamal find themselves caught in a humorous yet eye-opening moment when they realize they've both bought the same pair of limited edition sneakers. Witnessed by the observant art teacher Ms. Delgado, this incident sparks a conversation about individuality and the dangers of blindly following trends. Ms. Delgado challenges Jamal to rediscover his unique style, reminding him of the creative spirit he's been neglecting. As Jamal contemplates her words and finds inspiration in an art exhibit, he embarks on a journey to reclaim his originality in a world of conformity. Also, the photos of this story isn't exactly how I wanted the characters represented. Blame the machines. I ain't spending hours trying to fix it. So, without further ado, stop copying and be original. Yo, Jamal, check out these new kicks I just copped. Antonio strutted into the school cafeteria, flashing his fresh pair of limited edition sneakers. Jamal rolled his eyes. Those are clean, but you already know I got the same ones last week. He stuck out his foot to reveal an identical pair. What? No way, man. You gotta be kidding me. Antonio groaned, his shoulders slumping in disappointment as the wind left his sails. Across the cafeteria, an amused onlooker watched the scene play out. Ms. Delgado, one of the art teachers, shook her head with a slight chuckle. She had seen this cycle play out countless times with her students over the years, chasing whatever was trendy at the moment, mass-produced from a corporate brand's factory. As the bell rang for fifth period, the halls filled with students shuffling to class, backpacks printed with the latest logos and dressed in identical skinny jeans with distressed rips in all the same places. Ms. Delgado waved to catch Jamal's attention as he started to pass by. Jamal, can I snag you for a sec? She called out. Since when are you and Antonio shopping at the same stores and buying the exact same outfits? I seem to remember a middle schooler who loved thrifting for one of her kind vintage finds. Jamal shrugged sheepishly. Nah, that was kid stuff, Miss D. I'm in high school now. I gotta keep it hyped with the freshest gear. Miss Delgado fixed him with a serious look. Listen up, young man. Stop copying everyone else and be original. Those mass-produced kicks and clothes are made to filter you all into a mold. By blindly chasing that corporate concept of cool, you're letting them take away what makes you unique. She gestured around the busy hallway dramatically. Look around, this whole school is just falling in line with whatever image is being shoved down their throats by big brands and social media. You're smarter than that, Jemo. You've got a creative spirit. Don't let them snuff out your inner fire just to sell you some sneakers or skinny jeans. Jamal furrowed his brow, considering her passionate words as the bustling students brushed past them. The more he looked around, the more he saw himself surrounded by drooping duplicates on all sides. Was he really just blending into that corporate-crafted vision of youth? Where was his individuality? You're right, Miss D. I can't even front. I've been sleeping on my true self lately just to keep up with these fads. A smile crept across the eccentric teacher's face. That's my dude. Now get to class, but on your way out, take a look at the art exhibit we've got in the main hall showcase. Maybe you'll find a little inspiration to rediscover your inner originality. With a quick embrace, Jamal hurried off to his next class. But Ms. Delgado's words kept echoing through his mind like a rallying mantra. Stop copying and be original. 
As he passed the display window, a series of vibrant paintings and multimedia collages grabbed his eye and wrist parked his imagination. They were unique, defying stale norms, each piece dripping with personality and perspective from their student artists. In that moment, Jamal felt himself beginning to awaken once more to the creative force deep inside him. He had been buying into someone else's rendition of Cool 4 too long. But not anymore from here on out, he would stop copying and be original. The world needed more of that raw, honest self-expression. There will be more stories inspired by the quote, Stop copying and be original in the future, as well as an accompanying, Stop copying and be original tea that will be available to purchase from my apparel site, JustTextClothing.com. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that jib-jab. Click one of the other videos you see on your screen. Okay. That's it for me now. See you in the future.